now on the allegations against former Omaha police officer Johnny Palermo. Yeah, he's facing 15 felonies and he will not be released on any bond. In addition to the fraud case, prosecutors say he worked with gangs to move drugs. KETV News Watch 7's Sean McKinnon continues our team coverage. Sean. The FBI wiretapped Johnny Palermo's phone and was listening in for months. Today, the feds revealed some of their findings. Federal prosecutors believe former Omaha police officer Johnny Palermo helped two Omaha gangs distribute drugs and used gummies to pay for sex. The hearing lasted hours Monday afternoon. Right, it was exhausting, actually. I thought we'd be in and out by 1.30, and here we're coming back Wednesday morning. Steve Leffler represents co-defendant Rich Gonzalez, but commented on the allegations against Johnny Palermo. The feds think Palermo filed a false federal loan, then used that money for a Hawaiian family vacation. Now Palermo is facing 15 felonies, a result of the FBI investigation that lasted months. It's tough when the whole world is now watching some of your conversations, listen to your conversations, listen to and observing some of your actions. Gonzalez is a retired police officer as well. Prosecutors allege he once warned a drug dealer to change his phone number when police were closing in and worked with Johnny Palermo to obstruct a rape investigation. In court, the judge over and over saying she does not trust Johnny Palermo and refusing to release him. I have great respect for Judge Zwart, but it did surprise me when she came out and said, I don't trust Mr. Palermo, Johnny Palermo. Uh, and so I think everybody's going to get painted with that same brush. As for Gonzalez, prosecutors say he was the architect of the fraud scheme. As we mentioned, all four defendants will be back in court Wednesday morning. Back to you. Okay.